the movement of information from the laboratory to the clinic and back from the clinic to the laboratory is called translational research. So the TRTH program is a unique program that brings together the best trainees from North America, Europe and from the rest of the world together with the top haematology translational researchers that we have here as faculty. The goal of this research training program is to get enough investigators well trained in the means to do translational research. This was really the first program that um, was geared more towards laboratory-based translational research, so that's really what uh, attracted me to it. What the trainees get here is an intense course in how to think, how to focus, and how to network. The students come in at the beginning and they present their uh, programs that uh, they sent in in the grant applications. And the rest of the week, the faculty works with the students in these small groups to help refine and focus the type of work they're doing and to make the presentations much better. The great thing about the small groups and the one-to-one -one mentoring um, is that you get to sort of sit down and properly discuss in detail your project and your ideas with um, you know, people of such high standing that you would never normally be able to have that opportunity. I was a first year PhD student. I could hardly believe it when they had selected me to participate in the program. And it was really exciting when I got all the messages of who would be the faculty, all these top leaders in hematology. It's really apparent that the people who are here are here because they're just passionate about mentoring and they want you to succeed and they want you to de develop a project that's going to help you achieve your goals, which is certainly not always easy to come by. They're in one place together with the faculty for a whole week which is exceptional. Most of the training we give our fellows, uh, clinicians or, or young scientists are usually repeated the year the year uh, for many years uh, and so this time uh, it's really dedicated for them. How the students are selected is based not only on their background and their experience but largely on a research project which they have proposed. This is, this is a the beginning of a process. You know, these are the types of relationships that when you get home and you're not sure about uh, what to do again either as far as you know your research is concerned or your career is concerned, these are, these are resources that will be invaluable for the, the rest of, of your career. We meet them again at the EHA meeting in June and we meet them again at the ASH meeting for the final meeting. Now three years later I know so many of these people, they have become real mentors. I can hardly believe it and I think much of that is really because of TRTH. The applications are open to anybody in the world who wishes to do translational research. This program is really like, uh, with the participants that you get to interact with, is like the World Series of Translational Research or maybe the World Cup for the, uh, the European folks. For me, it made a huge difference in my career and I think the impact is so much more valuable than I could imagine any funding money could have because of the contacts, because of the networking, because of the friendships. EHA and ASH are very appreciative indeed for the educational grant from the Wallace H. Uh, Coulter Foundation to enable uh, TRTH to be funded. So I would definitely recommend it. I think you meet fantastic people that you'd never be able to meet. You're in a fantastic environment. You get to discuss your sort of projects and your ideas with such a broad range of people. It's been amazingly good fun. And being a scientist in hematology has really changed for me.